hello guys you are welcome to my youtube channel and i'm back with another text effect tutorial this is an amazing text effect it is actually a photoshop text effect that i was able to recreate on pixel lab i use only pixel lab for this test effect and i'm willing i'm eager and i'm glad to take you through the process behind this test effect so that you can create this test effect on your own very easily okay this is actually a very simple test effect so without further ado let's go right into the video Alright, so once again you are welcome and this test effect is actually a 14 layer test effect yes 14 layers test effect but then don't be scared it's actually very very simple in fact this is the simplest test effect that i will ever drop on this channel that i've dropped on this channel so far it's actually very very simple very 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 simple and just ensure that you stay tuned and you really pay attention pay careful attention to this video please and please pay attention even to the tiniest detail okay and that is why i will advise you not to skip any part of this tutorial because every part is very very important especially the tiny details i will be saying okay so please pay attention to my audio okay pay attention to the audio and pay attention to this process okay it is very simple like very very simple but then if you must be able to get it perfectly then you need to pay careful attention to important details okay so first of all i'm just going to um okay i'm just going to okay yeah just like you know i have the color palette already okay i have the color palette that i use for this test effect to make the whole thing easier for you so that you won't have to be stressing yourself about color codes and about about to how to type in color code and how to take note of color code so i've made everything easy for you i have the color palette already now to get the color palette just check the description box below you are going to see the link to where you can get the font okay you get the font for free and you get the color palette i used for free you get every everything i use in this tutorial like every resources i use in this test effect tutorial and even previous tutorials and and coming tutorial so just check um incoming tutorials okay so just check the description box below you are going to see the link to where you can download them for free okay so first of all i'm just going to clear all of this um scroll down i'm coming here so i'll just clear it yes since we are about to create us from scratch again now please pay attention like i said now this is what you should expect to see when you open pixel lab i'm working in landscape mode because i'll be dropping this tutorial on youtube like you are watching this tutorial right now on youtube so that's why i'm recording this in landscape mode which means that some of the figures i may be using here for like some figures i'll be using here may not be exactly like yours okay my might be bigger than yours so just ensure that you pay careful attention and probably if you can you can also create yours in landscape mode but it's not compulsory okay so the first thing i'm going to change is my image size now to change it i will just come here look at tap on this please and please follow my cursor carefully i will just tap on this click on image size look at it image size click on image size now tap on this and click on youtube channel banner okay i'm using youtube channel banner then if you just want to use the the um figures directly it is 2560 for the width and 1440 for the height okay click on okay and this is what i've got here now the next thing i'm going to be doing is importing my color palette okay so just click on import yeah now okay then click on this this is my color palette yes these are the colors i use in this tutorial so yeah this is so i'm just i'm going to place my color palette here so that it's not going to distract us so yeah this is a good place or oh, let me still reduce the size okay yeah this is actually a great one now the first thing i'm going to work on is my background so to work on that just tap on this place look at tap on this click on color then click on gradient okay i already have some gradients here but i'm not going to be working with them i'll be creating them from scratch okay just because of you now click on plus for the background now now 
click on this layer this um gradient interface okay this particular one look at this particular one this is the one i'll be using for my background okay so this is the gradient interface now i'm going to click on this node okay i call this node actually this node this is this and that one but let's start with this first click on this node tap on this okay tap on this to change the color then use the color picker function to pick this okay look at pick it this all right so to make it easier for you to uh, arrange it from the left to the right okay just pay attention you will get it then mark it okay now click on this other one to click on this other node tap on the same thing but this time around you are picking this second color look at it, this other one now mark it okay then what you will do now is tap on this node okay then increase this you yeah, want to make the center brighter just increase this here then okay all right so this is what i've got here this is what i've got now mark it we are done with our background if, if they need to adjust it again we can easily do that anytime so now the font i use is poppins black that is the font i use for this test first so just tap on test yeah move it to the center increase the size change the test to yeah change the test to cool all right cool yes then okay so this is our test here now the first thing i'm going to do is go to fonts all right just go to font then click on my fonts and poppins okay i use this recently so i may not need to search for it here look at this is poppins black okay and this is what i've got here now i would like to increase the paddling a bit now the reason i'm increasing the paddling is because i don't want some parts of the test to cut away now if you are conversant with pixel app you will realize that and even text first you realize that sometimes when you are working on your text it appears as if some parts of your test cut away the solution is just to come to paddling click on paddling then let me just increase it right to 20 um 22 then i want to yeah change this to 22 too i want to use the same thing yeah so that i can achieve something perfect with my test now the next thing i'm going to do now is to increase the size of my test now the size i use for my test is td08 my text size is td08 so just increase it from here then let's see i still want to increase it now i'm using the big size so that you can see what i'm doing clearly okay td08 td08 all right so let me just reduce it from here now to 308 i want to use 308 exactly okay i want to use exactly 308 so this is 308 position it to the center please ensure that it is positioned to the center mark it now copy this copy this particular one and add it okay i just want to add it for future use okay now this is our test ensure that it is well positioned please ensure that your text is well positioned okay so We've changed our test size to studio 8. Now, our color, just leave it at this color, okay? We are not going to um, work so much with this color, and you will understand why. Now, the next thing I'm going to do here is to go to stroke. Okay, just, just click on stroke. Now, please pay careful attention here. Pay careful attention here. But before I even go to stroke, first go to shadow. Click on shadow. Enable shadow, okay? So, enable your shadow. I want to add shadow to it. I'm starting with my um, first layer now. So, now click on plus. Now this is the color for the shadow, the third one from here. Look at the third from the left. Okay, the third pillar from the the third color from the left. This particular one. Mark it. Then okay. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do to the shadow now is to in increase, reduce the opacity to 54. Okay. I actually use 54 for my own. Then increase the blur radius to 13. Increase the blur radius to 13. All right, then now go to offset X and increase your offset X and your offset Y to 13. Increase offset X to 13. Then offset Y to 13. Okay, just 13. 13. Now this is it and we are done with our shadow. Now ensure that it's still work position. Okay, ensure that it's still work position. Now the next thing I'm going to go to is my stroke. Click on stroke, enable stroke. All right, enable your stroke. Now click on plus. All right, now I want to do something amazing with this stroke. 
please and please pay careful attention yeah pay careful attention please okay so click on gradients yeah we want to create this particular gradient now this particular one okay now click it's very simple it's not complex and that is why i'm going to break it down for you so just click on this click on gradient here yeah. now click on plus two but first of all just let me increase my stroke to six so that you can see what i'm doing now click on plus right this is what pixel lab should give you normally as the default um gradient template okay now just tap on this node or any of these and begin to add more node yeah begin to add more node just add like 10 one two th this is one two two three four five six okay so add more seven eight nine ten okay now we have ten nodes right one two three three four five six seven eight nine ten all right so this is ten now i want to space them evenly so ensure that you just you may not be able to get that perfectly but then just ensure that yeah to the best that you can like to the best of your ability ensure that it is spaced evenly ensure that they are spaced evenly guys this is very simple okay they are spaced evenly all right all right now this is where we are now click on this particular node like click on this each of the nodes now but then pay attention to the way i'm going to use my colors now just click on this particular node now click on this and pick this color pick this particular color this yellow color mark it okay click on this other one and click on this then click on this one look at on this one beside this yellow mark it okay now click on this again click on this and pick that yellow again and that is how we we'll just be going with all the gradients okay tap on this and pick that darker one too mark it okay then just do it it's very simple just keep doing that like just be repeating that okay click on this and pick that darker one too that darker yellow darker shade of yellow so pick yellow yeah then pick that darker one then pick that yellow here yeah? then pick that darker one all right so we are done with this but ensure that it is still even just ensure that it is even right now click on ok all right click on ok now this is what we've got we can't see it clearly so reduce your stroke now to reduce your stroke to two just to okay reduce your stroke to two now then mark it okay now come to 3d test click on 3d test look at 3d test click on it and enable it okay enable 3d test now the reason why our 3d appears broken now just click on oblique first click on oblique now you can see that our 3d appears broken the reason why our 3d appears broken your yeah, 3d test is because of this okay yeah just come down then turn off stimulate lightning to solve that problem okay look at it just come to stimulate lightning and turn it off please and uh, notes just turn it off and that problem will be solved now go back up go back up and reduce the depth reduce the depth to six just reduce the depth to six yes reduce the depth of our 3d to six now scroll down and reduce the darken to zero okay reduce the darken to zero too now click on gradient to change the color click click on gradient now and pick this same gradient please follow me carefully you realize that i picked the same gradient with my stroke okay the same gradient i um i formed with my stroke that is the same thing i'm picking here all right so this is it look at it all right you can see this is it now the next thing we are going to do now is just to come to don't disable the extra stroke now click on oblique angle and change the angle angle to 310 i use 310 so change the angle to 310 and guys this is what we now have this is what we now have and this is amazing all right this is amazing okay now mark it all right so we are done with this basically we are done with this for now we are done with this particular layer now the next thing is now to bring this part this other layer that you eat this layer just um move it look at it yes look at it then position it to the center okay position it to the center now copy it again copy it again because of the other layers now this is it right ensure that it is well positioned to the center now the first thing we we'll do to die it to 
ensure that the size is also 308 like like you know you know i copy that so that is still 308 now go to color this for this particular um layer so we'll be using gradient color but not this one we'll not be using that one just click on gradient click on plus we'll be forming our own gradient okay now for this one i'm going to be using those three nodes click on plus and this particular node just move it up a bit okay now tap on this particular color click on this and pick this color okay pick okay let me start from here then start from here click on this click on this node tap on this now pick this bright color beside this um dark yellow click on this okay now tap on this other one and pick the color beside it pick this um blue okay no not this pick this one okay pick this one this particular one not this um deep blue pick this one mark it okay now tap on this i think that arrangement was a mistake on my part but then it's still not a problem yeah now tap on this other one that is now darker mark it look at it okay so this is what you've got just click on okay and we are done with this right we are done with this mark it and then position it to the center ensure that it is still well positioned now go to stroke yeah click on stroke or no just leave stroke okay leave stroke like don't tamper with the stroke okay now what you do now is to go to inner shadow go to inner shadow okay click on inner shadow enable your inner shadow all right so enable your inner shadow now our inner shadow color is this just pick this color Look at this particular color I'm picking. Mark it. The color code is 03F2FF. Okay. Sorry, I think that is a mistake on my part. Okay, 37F7. 37F7FF. 37F7FF. That is our inner shadow color. Now click on OK. Alright. Now the blur is just for our inner shadow is 13. So just increase this to 13 increase the increase this to 13 don't tamper with the offset x and don't tamper with the offset y just leave it at this then ensure that it is still well positioned yeah it's still well positioned okay yeah it's still well positioned now the next thing i'm going to do now is to copy now this particular test this particular um curve this particular layer just leave it at this don't copy this time around now position it to the center all right then go to color this the first thing i'm going to do for the, um, to this layer is to just go to color click on plus now increase this transparency to the highest we want to make it transparent so that you won't see the test okay then mark it so you see now that you can no longer see the test all right now the next thing you are going to do is just to go to your stroke now enable stroke okay enable stroke and for that our stroke color is white so just scroll this is white Look at it, our stroke color here is white and our stroke width is 3. Just leave the stroke width at 3, okay? Our stroke width is 3, then mark it, okay? So the next thing you are going to do now is to go to inner shadow, go to inner shadow, click on inner shadow, enable inner shadow. Now click on plus and pick this color, the last color here, look at this color, mark it, mark it. Then you can increase this to the up a bit just a little bit okay and if you like don't increase it it's not compulsory just mark it all right guys this is what we now have but we are not done yet okay we are not done yet now what you'll be doing now is mark it okay i think i feel like you see add more stroke to this particular layer click on stroke and let's just change it to five all right leave it at five and let's see okay go to inner shadow the blur reduce for this should be 4, okay? The blur reduce for the inner shadow should be 4. Now, position it to the center. Alright? Ensure that it's still well positioned. Now, copy this. Now, position to the center again. Copy it again. Copy. Position. To, just keep doing this. Yeah, position to the center. You see why, you see why it was able to um, give us um, why we use, why it was 14 layers, okay? So it's simply because of this copy and paste stuff. Just copy and position to the center. Copy again and position to the center. Let's count it now. 
all right i feel like our stroke is too thick okay i feel like this is too thick and that is simply because you know i increase the stroke okay so just leave it at leave it back at three yeah just leave it at three yeah leave it at three then ensure that it's still well positioned then go back to click on this and leave it at three to stroke width okay so just change everything back to three okay then click on this two stroke stroke width at three then click on this two stroke width at three mark it then click on this two click on this two stroke width at 32 just leave it at 3 then click on this stroke width at 3 click on this to click on this stroke width at 3 now click on this to stroke width at 3 all right so that is all now ensure that just like i was doing ensure that it's well positioned okay just yeah mark it ensure that it's well positioned like they are perfectly positioned on each other yeah ensure that they are perfectly positioned on each other the goal is to make that um stroke look very realistic okay and without doing it this way they won't look realistic right so yeah mark it then come here ensure that they are well positioned on each other they are well positioned on each other so yeah that is all that you can also position this and just yes so guys this is what we have so far but then let's count the number of layers we have now one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten okay meanwhile i use 14 for my own so just so that we can get exactly or close to the result i get so let's just add one more this is um 11 now copy it again 12 copy 13 now copy and we have 14 all right guys so this is what we now have this is what our test effect now looks like so let me zoom in so that you can see what i'm doing okay so you can see the test effect now all right so you can see the test effect now you can see it you can see it yes okay now go to Yeah, inner shadow like click on the second layer this particular layer look at this layer then go to inner shadow it appears as if our inner shadow is not showing very well so let's adjust it all right so let's leave it at um okay let me increase the brightness a bit okay yeah it's just so that it can be more obvious okay so yes i think this is great now this is great okay this is actually great and then we have something amazing guys this is our test effect okay so you see how simple it is very very simple it is actually very very simple so um it's more like just two layer test effect or let me say three because the third layer we started copying and pasting and all the layers all together are 14 but then you know that from this video tutorial that you've watched now it is just two layers okay two layers are just two layers are the main layers in this video okay so if you stay to this point i really appreciate thank you for staying with me to this point and if you are new to this channel you know what to do please hit the subscribe button turn on your notification bell so that youtube can notify you the next time i drop a testify tutorial and also also don't forget to share this with at least one person and if you are new to my channel just check on my screen right now you are going to see some other test event tutorial that you need to check out and learn how i created them so that you can create them on your own thank you once again for still with me to this point i will see you in the next one